Hi, I'm John Hoglum. I'm an oil painter and I'm in my studio and classroom. And I have with me today Kathy, who's one of my students. And these are a couple of paintings that Kathy has done. And we're going to have Kathy share a, a couple of anecdotal stories about what it's like to be one of my, my students. So, Kathy, uh, how long have you been with me? I've been with John eight years, and it's been a joy and a frustration, but he is the one who can lead you forward in your painting. Um, when, when you first got <laughs> at your first class, how well did that go? <laughs> I was so nervous, so nervous and so intimidated, and um, John took me right in and got me started. Um, everybody starts with a hoglum tree. Um, with a mountain scene behind it and that is a great starting place because it gives John the opportunity to figure out where you are as a painter. Um, it was quite an experience that Hoagland tree. <laughs> I won't say that she had difficulty in, during the first class or two but where she spit grass wouldn't grow. But we, we recognized fairly quickly that she had a gift in the area of doing still life. So she struggled with the Hoglum tree. She struggled with the second landscape. But after that second landscape, we, we decided to g give her a try on still life. And as it has turned out, she has developed a very high quality ability to do still life where you have the essence of a glazed ceramic pot or the highlights coming off of a waxed apple and tabletops and flowers. Uh, she has really blossomed as a painter. So do you have any other things you'd like to share about how things developed as you have been developing as a painter? Um, yes, still lives were, are definitely my comfort zone. Um, and oil paints, which John has taught me, gives you the chance to mold and blend um, which I might do things a little different, but I actually can blend on the painting, which is wonderful for me. Um, I feel like that kind of gives me a bit of pottery at the same time. But also I continue to work at landscapes because that is where John excels. And um, it's always a struggle, but I'm getting there. <laughs> Give a little background about this particular painting. Okay, this was done on location with a group of um, friends with John in um, Okeechobee, Florida, and this was a cattle farm. And I did put a few cattle out in the field because as we arrived, they were all under the trees where we were. And they scattered um, way back over here. And as we would paint, they would come, look at us, say, so they're still there. And so they would leave. Anyway, I put them way out in the forest um, at the distance, but that was a beautiful day under the oak trees and um, it's just fun to get together and fellowship. Okay, Kathy has been with me for a good long while, and uh, I'd like for her to explain sort of the learning curve that she's gone through from the Hoglum tree to developing the ability to do something of this quality. Okay, um, the one thing that John helps you work through is the colors from the back to the front and also learning to master the medium of oil painting um, with your liquid or your additives and things. But um, you start small, one area in a painting like the Hogum tree, and then you gradually grow into a bigger painting or more things in a painting, whether it's two trees or you're adding rocks or you're adding puddles or you're adding flowers. Um, Anyway, that's the one thing that John really excels at, keeping you simple and in a, in a set area until you can expand and grow. So would you say that during the time you've been with me, you've experienced an incremental growth in mastering the medium of oil paint? Yes, yes, along with drawing, along with drawing with your paintbrush and um, getting from what you see onto the canvas. Mm -hmm. It's, and that's where I always go back. It's not what you know, it's what you see that you're working from to get onto the canvas. Um, so it, he's a great teacher. So with that, we will say thank you, Kathy. And there's a lot of other students who have their own story, but 
and they have their own work and their own style, but this should be enough of an incentive to get you into paint and get you on the phone to call me about painting lessons.